I wanted to give you a little background information on the instructional model modules. Becky Miller, Heather Thompson, and I designed the modules first and foremost with our teachers in mind. We wanted our teachers to interact with the components of the instructional model in meaningful ways. We did not want these activities to be seen as busy work. Instead, we wanted to give our teachers an opportunity to practice the components of the model and come away with activities that they could continue to use in their classroom. We did not want this to be seen as additional work. We wanted activities that would engage our teachers in what they are already doing in their classrooms. We also wanted to provide resources that our teachers could use to explore new instructional strategies. The activities that we have included in the modules should be activities that all teachers can complete. However, we do know that a couple of the activities will stretch some of our teachers. We do not think this is a bad thing. Finally, we wanted to honor our teachers as professionals by providing them a platform for them to share what works for them in their classrooms and to receive feedback from their peers. Having our teachers reflect on their classroom practices was also important to us. We were also thinking about you when we designed the modules. We know that you are busy people, and so we designed the activities uh, so that they would be easy for you to monitor. We included discussion questions that show who has answered the question and who hasn't answered the question, and the assignments work the same way. They easily quickly show who has completed the assignment and who has yet to turn in the assignment. Your job will be to monitor the teachers in your building as they complete the activities. But we want you to be actively engaged in these modules as well. You will have the opportunity to reply to comments and to offer feedback on assignments. We hope you will actively engage with your teachers as they complete these modules. As the district works through the modules, we want you to focus on each component when you can. If you could include something in your weekly newsletter on assessment when we are covering the assessment module, please do that. I got the opportunity to attend a couple of different building PLCs toward the end of last year, and I was thrilled to see you include a spark at the beginning of the meeting, an objective that would be covered during the meeting, some assessment activities, and even a closure at the end. Please continue to do this. It's important that you model the different components of the instructional model whenever you can. Uh, if we're doing a grade level PLC and we're talking about closure, please try and work that into the conversation during that time. The idea behind having a specific timeline was to have the entire district working on the same thing at the same time and strengthening our conversations. Please find a way that you can add different components to your meetings and your PLCs. In the next video, I'm going to take you into the Google Classrooms and show you how that will work.